Hi everyone. This is Mickey finished. So if you want to see how I hand painted Mickey, just keep watching. Right, so like we did with the card suit nails, we're going to apply two coats of Shaka, which is from Madame Glam, and cure those for 30 seconds and then apply velvet matte top coat. I like to hand paint on a matte surface because it stops the gel polish from running because it's matte, it grips to the surface. This concoction of gel paint here is brown and white. I've just used it, like mixed it up to make a tan. I am going straight on the nail. I did try to, you see my mechanical pencil, sometimes you can map out what you want to paint with a mechanical pencil, however it wasn't working for me very well today, so I just went in with the gel paint and just started to map out the tan part of Mickey, or you know the whole tan part of his head. Oh my dog just jumped over me. <laughs> I'm lying on the bed looking out the window while I voice note, not voice note, while I voice this over, because it's such a lovely day today, it's so sunny. Anyway, look, I'm gonna fill in Mickey's, Mickey's face, right? And then you can cure that once you're done. So I've got white, black, and pink gel paints as well from Madame Glam, right? This is a bit of a disclaimer. <laughs> I am, I don't know how to hand paint. I don't know if there is, a particular way that you should do it but this is how I have done it this time around because I really don't know what I'm doing I put the white of the eyes on over the top of our tan color and I'm not worried at the minute if the eyes are wonky or anything because we are going to outline them with the black gel paint later on so I'm going to cure those in the lamp then I am taking the black gel paint from Madame Glam. I just made a boo-boo there, so I just wiped it off with some isopropyl alcohol. If you want to, you can cure, sec cure parts as you go, but there are some parts that you won't want to... Oh my gosh, my doggy. What are you doing, Bill Bill? Let me get out of the way. Right, there are some parts that... You're not going to want to paint, cure, and then paint over again, and then cure, and then paint over again. Because you're going to end up with, I don't know what the word is. Like, like, um, I can't think what the word is. So if you can paint on as much as possible before you cure it, I'd say that's probably a good idea. But if you can't, then do what you can do. Because I'm no expert. So honestly, my advice probably doesn't even count anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what I want about. <laughs> Story of my life. But right, I've painted on the nose. The nose is quite easy because it's just a kind of oval shape. So that's not too bad. Don't forget to add his chin. I'm not quite sure I've done this, why I, don't, I left his chin so late. But his chin, I think I made the chin a little bit too pointed. Which is what I felt like in the end, his face was a little bit too <gasps> narrow. I don't feel like the proportions of his face were quite right. But I think that might be because his chin was a bit pointed. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is the point where I outline his eyeballs. I didn't like how I'd outlined his eyeballs. So you will see shortly, I do wipe it off and start again. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to outline his eyeballs again. I still wasn't happy with it. It's really do you know what some people can hand paint and they can hand paint beautifully and they do such an amazing job and everything looks like they should be working for like disney or some you know a cartoon animation company or whatever you want to call them i i mean he turned out pretty good in the end but there's no shading there's no it's you know mine is a very flat 2d mickey right and all oh, these people could do such an amazing job so this is just very this is like base this is basic in a nut it's it's basic hand painting it's not it's you know i don't know how to shade maybe one day we'll try and shade but for today oh look i wiped the eyes off again was that the second time 
it might be because i did wipe off a lot on this face because i got in the end i was just getting so peed off i was like i've had enough of this now i don't want to ever hand paint again but you know what i really enjoyed doing those um you know the super mario brothers or is it mario do you say mario or mario let me know in the comments because me and scott had a conversation about this once now we're just doing the big ears now, the big ears came off the nail mostly so as long as they were pretty symmetrical i didn't really care what you know what they look like too much um so yeah i'm just going to fill those in and then you're going to need a dotting tool as well these dotting tools i got from amazon they've got tiny little silicon tools on the end i they are in my amazon store um which i will link in my link tree no I don't, it is in my link tree, but I will link my Amazon store is in, in the description box anyway, so you can have a look at the things in there. This is a smaller dotting tool from the kit, the set that I got as well. This is just little shading on his nose. And then we're going to add some little white dots to his eyeballs. There we go. Oh, I was like, that's made it look really quite good already. And then I just mixed a little bit of Madame Glam's red gel paint with the pink gel paint just to darken it up slightly because his tongue was like a dark pink or a light red. And then I've cured that and I'm just going to add a little line down the center of his tongue. And then I'll cure that again. Then we're going to top coat him just to seal everything in you don't have to do that because madame glam's gel paints don't have a tacky layer but when you're doing something like this i would recommend top coating because it just smooths it all out and then just to finish the whole thing off i don't know where i got these from i think they were from Shein, but i'm adding a blob of gem crystal fix i'm going to add that little ace onto there and then i'm going to add another probably should have picked a different card a different ace but anyway we'll stick them there they obviously they're not going to stay on there if they if you do these on a client but i just thought it finished the set off quite nicely there we go if you like these you might also like these so i'll see you in the next one